awesome pictures of the guys out playing beach volleyball the other day. How, how did that go uh, with the team and, and what's the chemistry like right now? Yeah, it's really positive atmosphere. Um, everyone's been very welcoming from, from my perspective. It's been very easy to settle in. Um, I love the city. I've been before. But um, yeah, I feel, I feel very at home straight away. I still need to move out of the hotel and into a, into a home, but that's not far away. But um, everything's, everything's positive and everything's good, yeah. And as far as you um, establishing your spot in this keeper competition, what, what are you looking to accomplish every day in practice and what can you use these preseason games to uh, establish yourself personally as hopefully the starter in this rotation? Uh, I don't think you think about the, the competition side of things, you just concentrate on your own game. Um, so I'm trying to implement what the manager and what the goalkeeping coach and generally the coaching staff want want me to do. And uh, I've enjoyed it. I felt comfortable doing it. <clears throat> I feel uh, comfortable playing with the guys, with the team. So, um, yeah, it's just about doing, I think, probably the same for Justin, Eric and, and JK as well, that we all want to um, kind of implement what, the style of play that the manager's looking for. So um, it's, it's the same for all of us. Anything in particular you're working on? Playing out from the back, um, feeling, being comfortable with the ball at your feet, sometimes joining in as a, as a three at the back um, and participating in that, being very high as well. Um, we want to be an aggressive team this year and try and hold a high line as much as we can. So, you know, reading things in, in, in and behind the back line and then obviously the communication side of things that comes with that as well. So, um, yeah, things that I'm sure all of us have, have done before. Um, so uh, I don't think any of the guys feel uncomfortable doing it. And from your perspective, what, what can the team use a game like this as in terms of establishing chemistry, getting familiar with one another and, and finding that rhythm just in terms of uh, being on the field at the same time together? Uh, well, this is our fourth game now, I think. Um, so, you know, we're... Results are always important and performances are important, but at the same time, we want to work on the things that we're trying to work on. So preseason games gives you an opportunity to maybe try a few things that you maybe necessarily wouldn't in, a, I mean, tactically, um, in, a, in the league game. And we're still learning. It's still a learning process. So, um, yeah, it's, it's about the building. The, it's the next step now in our development as a team. We've got guys coming back from injury, um, We've got guys obviously away from international duty and got a lot of young players playing as well. So it's a good experience for them um, and they've done really well <clears throat> um, when when the last few games when they've had to be called upon. So um, every, everything's really positive and I think the level of performance has been good. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, Nikki. Uh, we'll go back to Kevin Baxter with the LA Times. Kevin, go ahead. Hey, how? Uh, so you said the... Um... Uh, it's nice to see you again, by the way. You said that okay. uh, the uh, um, the you're getting used to Southern California a little bit now. What what has surprised you most about Southern California and, and mainly the MLS? Uh, you know, you spent a lot of time with a lot of different clubs in England. How are things different here? Uh, there's a lot of differences. I think, um, especially in the championship and in the Premier League, everything's very frantic. Everything's very results based and very, it's very short term. Everything's very short term. So there's less risks taken. There's less time to implement philosophies and ways of playing. Whereas here, um, it, it's allowed to breathe a little bit more. So you can kind of implement the way you want to play. Um, tactically, I've, I've found it to be actually slightly more advanced, especially with this manager anyway. Um, so it's been it's been a, an eye opener. It's been very interesting. It's been actually very enjoyable to be a part of. Um, it's actually a little bit more, I say, European. Obviously, the UK is kind of kind of part of Europe still, but um, it's a, very different to the English game and a little bit more towards the kind of Latin side of the game, um, which I enjoy and and I think is is only a positive thing um, when talking about the MLS in general. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. We'll go to Katia Castorena next with ESPN Deportes. Katia? Thanks, Chris. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, um, I have two questions. The first one would be, uh, first, what made you want to come to the Galaxy and how's the MLS scene in the UK? And the second one, it's um, 
how did you feel personally, you know, strengthen, strengthening the defense, starting with the goalkeeping position was a priority for the team after they struggled last season. So how exciting was it for you getting that con confidence from the team and, and I guess their responsibility as well to deliver? Yeah, obviously, um, especially compared to other MLS clubs, the pressure here is, is that little bit higher because they're used to success here, which is good. So the culture is always, we're looking to win. You know, we're not looking just to make the playoffs. Um, these are long-term goals that we don't think about on a daily basis, but we're building towards. Um, but I was, yeah, I was very excited about coming here. As soon as um, I got the call from the manager um, and he was telling me how he wants to, to play and um, it, was, it was exciting. I mean, the way that we see it over there is... Um, definitely moved on from the last five years I'd say it seems to have developed really quickly um, there's a lot of of high quality players here I've been not surprised but I've been I've been enjoying the level of like the young the young players here even the boys coming up from G2 the really young boys there's a lot of talent and technically um, they're very very good um, so yeah I think there can be sometimes a little bit of arrogance over in England um, which isn't good, but at the same time, I think um, the MLS as seen around the world is it's definitely growing. And I think people see it now as a, as a, a real serious league and a serious level. There's, there's players that are getting bought for big money now and going to Europe, which says it all really. Um, so it's, it's great to be a part of it at a great time.